Hey, this is Kevin, and in this video, let's identify four key technology areas that I think each of us should grow in next year in 2023. To give you the backstory of how I came up with this, I don't know about you, but I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And if you're a Star Wars fan, I've got a uh, documentary recommendation for you. It's called Light and Magic. It's a story of ILM, Industrial Light and Magic, the special effects house that did Star Wars and Empire and lots and lots of other movies, including Jurassic Park. But in that documentary, one of the stars of the show is a man named Phil Tippett. And Phil Tippett was just a genius in stop-motion animation. For example, in Empire, he would make subtle little movements to the at, -AT walkers to make it look like they were walking across the plains of Hoth. In Return of the Jedi, he would make subtle little movements in the Rancor to make it look like the Rancor was moving. And he was working on Jurassic Park, and he was doing some motion blur with uh, dinosaurs. He was getting really advanced. But there was another group within the Jurassic Park production that was starting to experiment with CGI, computer graphics animation. And they had an animation of a dinosaur playing, and they knew that Steven Spielberg, the director, was going to be coming by. So they played an animation of this dinosaur on a screen, and when Steven Spielberg saw it, he looked over at Phil and said, You're out of a job. And Phil said, Don't you mean extinct? And uh, Steven Spielberg, he loved that line so much that he actually used it in Jurassic Park. And as I was watching that scene, it occurred to me that the same thing is happening for a lot of network professionals these days. I mean, for years, we've had many people, including myself, that have been uh, CLI jockeys. They can configure whatever you want from the command line interface. But we're seeing today that that is just not a scalable solution. Instead, the industry is moving towards network automation. And IT professionals that don't adapt to network automation, much like Phil Tippett and the dinosaurs, they're going to become extinct. Now, this is nothing new. In fact, way back in 2017, I made a blog post saying that it is time to pivot our careers. And I was talking in that blog post about network automation. And one of the quotes I used in there is making the point that the electric light bulb did not come from a continuous improvement of candles. No, it was a completely new technology that pretty much got rid of candles. I remember at a recent Cisco Live, Cisco CEO Chuck Robbins talked about the engineer of the future and he used a diagram much like this. He said, there's a group of engineers out there that have great CLI skills and there are other people that have programming skills. But the intersection of those two, that overlap in this Venn diagram, that's what Chuck Robbins called the hybrid engineer or the engineer of the future. And it occurred to me that if we don't want to become extinct, then all of us need at least some familiarity with programming skills and how to do basic network automation. And that got me thinking a little bit deeper. I thought, okay, clearly network automation is something we need for the future not to become extinct. Are there other areas that we should also focus on? And if we don't, that's going to lead to extinction. And I was reminded of a keynote at the most recent Cisco Live given by G2 Patel. He's the executive of VP and GM of security and collaboration with Cisco. And he made a statement that sort of stunned me because it was so true and I had never considered it. He said that war starts with cyber before it moves to air or land. Think about that one. We're not just trying to keep one department from printing on another department's printer or securing a file on a file server. No, we need to consider cybersecurity as we're thinking about things like warfare or corporate espionage. And if we look at the 15 most in-demand certifications for this year, according to CIO Magazine, you'll notice that coming in at number five is a cybersecurity certification. It's CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker. In fact, you'll notice that this comes in above any of the Cisco certifications. And earlier this year, Fortune came out with this article where they said companies are desperate for cybersecurity workers. More than 700,000 positions need to be filled. And I was sharing that statistic with a class earlier, and one of the students said, yeah, my company has over 400 of those openings. So just like network automation, I think all of us need to have some knowledge of cybersecurity. Then I considered one more time, is there another domain that we need to focus on? And if we don't, it could lead to our extinction. And it occurred to me that cloud fits in that category. At this most recent Cisco Live, Cisco CEO Chuck Robbins said, anything we can deliver as a service, we want to deliver as a service. Here we're talking about cloud, services running in the cloud. 
And it's interesting that the most in-demand certification for this year is an AWS certification. Amazon Web Services coming in at number one. And down at number 10, we have CompTIA's more generic Cloud Plus certification. But I think those three things, in addition to knowing the basics of networking, make up technical domains that we need to grow in, no matter where we are. And I came up with this framework. I think at the base of the framework, we have to have basic networking knowledge. Here we're talking about things such as routing and switching and wireless. And there are plenty of certifications that would fall under the category of networking. And people are at different levels. Some people may be just starting out taking Network Plus. You might be doing CCNA, might be working on your CCNP, or even your IE. And what I'm suggesting is, no matter where you are, there's a next step where you can deepen your networking knowledge. And that's what I'm challenging you to do next year in 2023. Wherever you are, I want you to go deeper into these four different domains. At the base is networking, and then those three that we talked about, network programmability. I want you to go deeper in that next year. I want you to go deeper in cybersecurity next year, as well as cloud. And if you have these elements at the end of 2023, that's going to give you an amazing foundation for your IT career. And to help you with that, I've got a free webcast coming up later this month, and I'm recording this in early November 2022. But coming up later this month, I want to give you a two-day training the first session is on a Friday, November 25th. That's the day after Thanksgiving here in the U.S. And what we call Cyber Monday, that's November 28th. And if you want to join me for free starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Time and going to approximately 5 p.m. Eastern Time on those two days, we're going to start digging into those four different domains that I think you should go deeper in next year. To register, just go to kwtrain.com 2023. But what specifically are we going to be covering in these two sessions? Well, on that Friday, November 25th, in session number one, we're going to start off by reviewing these four key areas for growth next year. And we'll talk about IT certifications that are related to enterprise networking. And we'll dive into enterprise networking just a bit as I cover five different key networking topics that you need to master. We'll also talk about cloud certifications, and we're going to see how to get started with Amazon AWS, Amazon Web Services. And in that second session on Monday, November 28th, we're going to begin by taking a look at IT certifications for network automation. And I'm going to show you how to get some hands-on experience with a Python programming. And we'll actually do some basic Python programming in class that day. We'll then talk about IT certifications related to cybersecurity, and I'll give you some sample cybersecurity content as we talk about hacking wireless networks. And if you would like to join us live, just go to kwtrain.com slash 2023. And let me leave you with this metaphor. It helps explain why we're starting to focus on 2023 goals today in November 2022. And that reason is, I want you to already be accelerating towards those goals in 2023. Again, those goals are to, wherever you are, go deeper in those four different technology domains. It reminds me of what happened just a few minutes ago. I was driving to my home and there was a traffic light that was red. And there was a car stopped in one lane and I was in the other lane. And as I approached the traffic light, it turned green. So I did not come to a complete stop. So I started to accelerate and I went through the light fairly fast. Meanwhile, the person in the other lane that started from stop, they had to slowly ramp up their speed because they were starting from zero. I, on the other hand, didn't have to stop. I already had momentum. And that's the metaphor I want you to think about. I want you to think about accelerating now so you have momentum going in to 2023. We're going to have lots of other training and offerings throughout 2023 focused on those four areas. That's really my mission in 2023 is to help everyone dive deeper into those four different areas. But for now, if you're listening in November 2022, go ahead and get signed up and let's start accelerating your career.